Welcome into Texas Tech TV. We're now joined by a special guest, Sharika Wright, the assistant coach for the Lady Raiders, and she also probably knows more about the Baylor Lady Bears. You've seen them quite a bit. They obviously have a tall task at hand, Brittany Griner, the reigning National Player of the Year, but what's it going to take to stop the inside-out game of Brittany Griner and Odyssey Sims? Well, I think first when you think of Baylor, everybody has known Griner was the whole piece of the puzzle, but I think the focus for our team was to really focus on the team around her. And I think that they've been so successful has been because of the play of Sims and you go with Madden and Hayden along with Pope as well. And then Williams coming off the bench. So our deal is is that we gotta make sure we and we understand tendencies of those players and containing that. And obviously Griner's gonna get what she's gonna get. I mean she's a phenomenal player and, and she should get those things, but again we want to contain those around her. But we've seen this season so far, Griner's going to get what she got. But against Stanford as well, if the other team, if you can stop the other four players on the court, you're going to win the ballgame. Oh, well, definitely. And there's some things that you're, you're have to going to do a really good job of with defending uh, Baylor because, again, even if those those options are taken away, there's some things that they do really, really good. And so, again, with us is that more so we have game goals and we need to meet those goals to be successful and be in the game. But, again, it's going to take a complete effort and you're going to have to hit shots and you're going to have to box out and rebound as well and understand tendencies and understand the scout and the game plan for our kids to be successful. Obviously, Casey Morris and China Brown have been huge for us down the last the last four games all season. What's it going to be on the perimeter? How important will perimeter play be tomorrow night? Well, I think perimeter play is always going to be critical for us. But again, I think overall you want to talk about the post players as well. I mean, having to make the adjustment, not so much. I mean, compared to most teams, they don't have posts that can step out and shoot. But again, I think that we have the post players that have some versatility to be able to step out some. But the perimeter's got to continue to do what they've been doing and being aggressive and taking shots along with our posts. Again, Nothing has changed for the game now, and that's the biggest message to our kids. We play how we've been playing. Kelsey Baker is one of your strongest posts, but she can shoot the three, and we saw success with that last year and the year before. Do you expect to see that again tomorrow? Oh, definitely. I think Kelsey's got to understand that she can do that and step out and shoot, and she's got to do it more often. But uh, tomorrow night is no different. It's more so about the confidence. It's just another piece to the pie, and, and we want to make sure we come out and compete. Confidence will be key. and the last team to beat Baylor in a Big 12 game was Texas Tech and it's been done in this house. What's it going to take to do it tomorrow? A complete game for 40 minutes. I mean you don't have room for error. We have to make sure that, again that we take care of the ball and we're not passive. We don't have any time for any players to be passive and pouting and we've got to be aggressive. All right well thank you Sharika. That is the right way to beat Baylor from Sharika Wright. For Texas Tech TV I'm Courtney Davis.